Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara in another episode of Fragrance. You know I love to say that. Uh, anyhow, there's some construction going on outside, so we're gonna attempt to do this. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. I am dying to smell this for the very first time. And uh, so I just had to do it. Um, and I'm talking about the Grease Charnel from BDK Parfums. The reason I've been dying to smell this is because it's really a YouTube favorite. I mean, I've seen it everywhere, this fragrance. So I was extremely, am extremely curious about what this smells like. So uh, let's begin. Now, if you wanna see how I created this look, I'll link it down below. Yes, it's a little smoky. Yes, it's a little Apache. What do you think Apache? Those animals that have like the black thing. Um, yes, 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 a little apache look, but, uh, you know, if I was very dressed up, it's a very dramatic and sophisticated, I think, look. So bear with me. Hey, it's fragrance, right? It's fragrance. And so let's just smell it. I am dying. So I'm going to spray it. You know, I only order samples because I have so many. Uh, well, I do have some full bottles, but Ooh, oh wow. Oh, I'm very surprised. I was not expecting that. Holy moly. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> so I'm really surprised. Now, interestingly, one of the first things that I smell was coconut. Is there coconut in this? We're gonna get to that, but Oh, this is very fresh, very beach, going to the beach sort of fragrance. Oh my God, I was not expecting this at all because I just did a video on another fragrance that was totally different and was not expecting this at all. Have I said that enough? Yes, you have. Okay, so moving on. So let me share. Whoa, this totally shift my mood completely. Oh, should I go and change my makeup for this? <laughs> Well, let's say this, at least the shirt uh, is a t-shirt. And let's move and remove these earrings because I don't think they go at all. Lighten up the mood, lighten up the mood for sure. So uh, if you wanna know about this uh, fragrance, lighten up the mood. I mean, I'm, I'm wanna put this, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back putting a different sort of earrings just to see if it lights up the mood a little bit. It lights up the mood a little bit, right? I mean, the eye look doesn't help, but <laughs> what can I tell you? All right, so let's get into this mood. Oh my God, what a difference. Holy moly guacamole, I have to tell you. Fragrance is everything. It changes the mood you're in. It changes uh, many things. I mean, it's, it's, that's why there's such a variety and that's why some people love and have more than one right one for the day one for the evening one for formal one because you know it's part of the experience it's part of it's an accessory it's definitely an accessory and it's an accessory that not only affects you it affects whoever is around you that smells it right this fragrance is very friendly for sure uh, i immediately you know it's likable it's likable it's lighter, uh, you can smell it. So it's not understated, sweet and understated in the background, no, no. But it's not in your face, it's, it smells very clean. That's why I'm very curious if it has coconut or, uh, it's not, it doesn't smell like a suntan lotion. So don't, not that far. And it's not only like going to the beach or, but it's very 
fresh and uh, no it, it doesn't smell like some soaps like you just got out of the shower or anything no it smells a little um coconut <laughs> let's see what it has holy moly so grease the charnel by bdk parfums is an amber spicy fragrance for women and men amber spicy i don't know about that i don't know about that i mean i guess i can smell the amber but in spicy I just did a video on another fragrance that it was amber spicy and I, this is night and day. So, so this is for women and men. It says, this is a new fragrance, Grit Chanel, was launched in 2019. The nose behind this fragrance is Mathilde Villau. Okay, another woman, another female. So I'm gonna stop saying that I'm surprised that they're females because nowadays I've been seeing a lot of females behind the fragrances. So I'm loving that and young. They look young in the picture. So the notes behind this fragrance, oh, top notes are cardamom, fig, and black tea. Okay. Uh, middle notes are iris and bourbon. Okay, I can see bourbon vetiver. Okay, and the base notes are sandalwood and tonka bean. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's warming up to me, and maybe it was the contrast with the other one, but this one feels a little lighter and opening that amber spicy. Amber spicy for me gives me that elegant solemnity, um, and the spicy gives me this warmth. I don't know if, I mean, now, now I'm smelling a little bit, maybe because I read it, the cardamom and fig and the black tea. So it's, I, I can start smelling the spiciness, but in a very light, um, young sort of way. Does that make sense? Because those are usually ingredients that are, is elegant, older, wise, you know, mature. But here is like those smells, but in, in a young and light kind of way. So let me go to the BDK uh, Parfum website. Now here is very interesting because, you know, I always like to read the little sentence, uh, if you've been with me, uh, from the actual website because I believe words matter and the intention and what is the poetic or the uh, picture that they paint with these words describing the fragrance. But this one is a little long, so I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'll just kind of summarize, paraphrase. It's a little, it's a little bowl in the sense that it's kind of describing uh, uh, a couple uh, that they just meet in a park or something, and then uh, they kind of went at it. And I <laughs> let me read you just the last two sentences. It says. They're in a very poetic, of course. This is as the night falls, the number of dancers increase and the bleaches fill up. Under the silver moon and the light of the tourist bar, you know, it's very. I don't know if to call that too descriptive, too poetic. Too... It didn't grab me. It didn't grab me. I had to reread it to get what once I, I noted that it was sort of a story. I like when it's more just poetic to the point, short and 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 okay. But it says, a discreet invitation brings them to the center of the track, a discreet invitation, you know? And then as if they were carried away, they dance in the heat of the night. And then these are the two last sentences. It says, from this hand-to-hand -hand seduction punctuated by knowing smiles, they end up slipping away to give free flow to more carnal desires then <laughs> i mean it's the whole story it says in the early morning the cheats give off a scent of sleepless nights mischievous and lascivious embraces so they don't leave everything anything to the imagination okay almost nothing okay i mean is a given they don't even let you guess <laughs> and it doesn't even have a happily ever after i mean i'm surprised it doesn't say about the wedding the child da, 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 da. 
<laughs> That's the inspiration behind this set. I mean, I don't think I will go that far. I don't think I smell this and it seduces me in a romantic way and I think of my first love and I think of, I, I think it's a little over the promise, over the promise. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to what it smells like, right? Or what is it for, or where you was, you know, wear this to. Sorry about the construction, if you can hear it. So, olfactory notes, let's see what they describe here. Top notes, fig, black tea, cardamom essence, heart notes, absolute of iris, bourbon vetiver, and base notes, sandal wool from India, absolute of tonka beans. Very interesting combination. Um, very confusing to me because when I smell it, uh, Vorvon vetiver, uh, I wouldn't think this is a, a fake black tea cardamom essence, you know, so it's just, so I'll give you my description of it. I mean, this reminds me a lot of a uh, fragrance I just described from Memo Paris, La Libella. I think it's called. Uh, it's also a bestseller, but it totally takes me to that sort of category. And that other fragrance I describe as if I feel like I'm with the jean shorts, a bikini, going in a, a convertible towards the beach, a lot younger, you know, 20s, 30s, no care in the world. That That's what that fragrance reminded me of. So this one reminds me of that fragrance. If, I don't know, maybe if I had smelled this one first, it would be the other one remind me of this, I don't know. But so I do go into this no care in the world, although I would describe this fragrance just like that because it has a little more seriousness to it, a little more. Uh, so yeah, you can wear it every day, very young and, and but if you like that sort of, I wouldn't say suntan lotion, but that coconut sort of smell, that very, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. And it has nothing to do with the ingredients I just read. So now I'm a little confused, but it is a bestseller. Uh, would I buy it? No, no, no. I like the Lali La Bella, Lali Bella. I think a little more because I, it reminds me of a little more uh, matureness to it. Or I think it just, the other one is very straightforward. What I describe, I immediately saw that picture of me going to the beach or whatever. This one is a little um, confusing to me because it's not that, but it's not that serious either, but it's not that youngster, but it's not that my age. So it's, it's sort of interesting. And usually I prefer the white flowers because it's opening up. It's very opening up and relaxing and I feel I'm in the middle of of outdoors this doesn't even go there immediately i thought of beach for sure sand ocean that kind of breeze so those things are nice but it doesn't take me to this relaxed state it actually uh it, there's activity there's movement but it is not to the side of citrusy where it makes me to want to take actions go and run errands and it doesn't give me the assertiveness of a business meeting and it doesn't give me uh, so of a family meeting, I mean, or so it confuses me. It, uh, it doesn't tell me exactly what for. I guess that's why it became a favorite or a bestseller, right? Because it could be for all. So that's a good thing. I like my fragrances to be a little more distinct. Um, and this one, I don't think I would even I mean, yeah, you will remember it because the smell is, is recognizable. I mean, I get it. If I smell it, if I smell it again in somebody, I would say, oh yeah, that's the good is Charnel, right? I mean, it's confusing with Chanel, but it's Charnel. It has an R there. Uh, so listen, it's, it, it smells nice. It's not something that I dislike. Uh, it's not overwhelming. It is there. You can smell it. I don't think I will necessarily like it on my husband or, or my close friend. I, I like other, yeah. But it's, it's very versatile in that way. Uh, probably a good gift because, um, you know, it will go with everybody and everything. And 
<laughs> you can convert to all that. The only thing I can tell you is optimistic because my mood changed immediately for the better. And, uh, and it did activate me. It, it does give you that, okay, let's go and do something. Like right now, I'm going to go and do things. Before I was like, ah, oh, do I have to do those things? And now I feel like, yeah, let's do them. So uh, it's a good fragrance to wear for sure. But ugh, I'm already like in the back of my palette, like maybe it's too sweet for me. Yeah, I don't like sweet. Uh, I like some sweetness, usually from white flower, but I'm not a very, all the sweet, but I wouldn't say it's like vanilla, caramel, you know, caramel, one of those uh, going out at night sort of fragrances that have that sweet or the sweetness that will be a romantic, young, very too sweet, I describe, right? That kind of tone. No, this one is sweet enough, but still too much for me. Um, and palligating. I, I feel impalligated by this moment. So very interesting fragrance. It's a favorite. Uh, so please let me know if you own it, if you like it, what do you think? And how would you describe this coconut? Because there's no coconut. Or this suntan lotion or this beach. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Uh, let me know your thoughts and as you know fragrance is a very personal thing and uh, and I know my my likings are sometimes a little more what would you say sophisticated or intense or weird or <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but uh, definitely I'm usually not part of the most popular uh, you know what most like I'm usually a little bit a tint outside the, the circle <laughs> and, and that could be a good thing uh, so uh, yeah let me know and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do at this moment uh, please ring the bell on the right hand corner of your screen and thumbs up and uh, I hope that we get to know each other and now I'm feeling awkward and so what do we do from now see this is the fragrance that is awkward confusing it smells nice Claudia just wrap it up okay I'm wrapping it <laughs> I need to wrap it in a good note so hope you have an awesome day thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye